This week was incredibly insane. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the My WW Blue Plan. Today is Friday, so we have a weigh-in video. We're going to talk about the topic that we discussed at the workshop, which was absolutely incredible and something that is so important for all of us on our healthy lifestyle journey, no matter where we are in the process. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to stick around. This is a once a week occurrence where we do these weigh-in videos. We talk about the workshop and we just love and support each other through our weight loss journey. So I'd love it if you'd head over here and join me on YouTube. Thumbs up this video if you do love these weigh-in videos. And don't forget to check out the description box down below where you'll find my coaching website. Website. I have a little bit of something for everyone. Definitely take advantage of having me figure out your macros, your calories, and kind of how that works out on WW. That is so important for you to know exactly how to break down your calories and macros and points throughout the day. So definitely take advantage of that service. You're also going to find one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, where we do Zoom calls, prizes, and giveaways. And I also have a private Facebook group for those taking part in the monthly membership of my coaching. So check that out down below. I'd love to help you along the way. Also, you'll find links, discount codes to all of my favorite things and the link to head over and join my Facebook group because we'd love to have you there as well. So head over and join us. So let's talk about my week because it was insane and honestly, probably not the best week that I've ever had. So let's jump in. All right, let's talk about my week. It's confession time. It's real life. I'm a human. I'm certainly absolutely not perfect on this weight loss journey. And this last week is complete evidence of just that. So this last week was incredibly busy for me. Everything just has kind of ramped up the last week or so with YouTube, my coaching, real estate, and just kind of life in general. We're preparing for my mother-in-law celebration of life this weekend. I just have a lot going on. It's been a little bit of a stressful week. And honestly, I'm not someone that gets stressed out really easy. I generally can manage life pretty well. And I wouldn't say that I was stressed out this week. I was just a bit overwhelmed. I just had so much going on. And the next couple of weeks are equally as busy. So I'm taking this last week as kind of a learning, a learning tool to help me through the next couple of weeks. Thank goodness I'm going on vacation around the beginning of October. I'm actually heading to San Diego to see my best friend, which is going to be well needed because the weeks leading up to that little vacation are crazy. So this week, again, like I said, was rough. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm going to share, like I promised, the good, the bad, the ugly when it comes to weight loss. This week teetered on bad and ugly. It was a not a good week for me. I do want to say I killed it with Jazzercise. I actually did Jazzercise four times this week, which honestly kind of saved me mentally and as far as weight goes because I was able to burn off a lot of the calories that I ate. Yep. Me and calories were not friends this week. Me and points were not friends this week. This week was rough. So out of the last seven days since I checked in with you last Friday, there was two days, two, that I stayed within my calories and within a reasonable amount of points. The other five, I was completely over my calories. I didn't make the best food choices. And the reason for that is because I was overwhelmed and I was very busy and it was all about what I could shove in my mouth between being incredibly busy, which wasn't the best food choices. Like I said, I overindulged or at least was over what I should be eating five out of seven days, five out of seven. So I am proof that this journey is not perfect. I am proof that even those of us that have solid goals for the month of September can still make mistakes or months in general. When we have solid goals, we can still screw up and we can still let life get in the way. And that's exactly what happened to me. But on a better note, I am taking this last week and the mistakes essentially that I made when it came to my eating. And I'm using that as leverage to be better the next couple of weeks that are equally as busy. This is probably the busiest week that I've had in I don't know how long since I worked in HR, probably at least a year 
maybe more. This is the busiest week that I've ever had, and I let it get to me. I kind of put WW calories my weight loss on the back burner, which is okay. It's okay to do that, but for me, I don't want to do that. I want to make it extremely important to me. And like I said, I still met my physical activity goal, which I think you guys truly saved me mentally and physically this week. That is really what I think kind of kept me going. So in a nutshell, my week was not the best. In a nutshell, I'm human. I make mistakes. And this week, I made mistakes. With that being said, I want to talk a little bit about the workshop before I go into this week's weigh-in and maybe talk a little bit more about how this week went. But I wanna talk about this topic because I think this topic is 100% relevant to every single person. Whether you're on a weight loss or healthy journey or not, this topic is 100% relevant and that is confidence boosting your confidence, having confidence, showing confidence, and being proud and confident in who you are. That in a nutshell is the confidence we have in ourselves to do something or develop a skill. This is very, very powerful in WW and in weight loss. The more self-efficacy we have in a goal, the more likely we're actually going to make the steps towards achieving that goal. So think about a goal that you want to achieve, even if it's a very small goal, like staying on track during the week. Think about that and use self-efficacy to guide you to reaching that goal. We're going to talk about a few techniques when it comes to self-efficacy and how you can reach these goals. Technique number one when it comes to boosting your confidence is setting small goals. We all have big picture goals. We all have long-term goals, but it's so important to set small goals because it's something that you can achieve in a relatively short period of time that boosts your confidence in keeping going towards the larger goal. So I challenge you to take one truly doable step to focus on this week. Make it something that you know you can accomplish this week and really set your sights and focus on that one doable goal. So for example, if you're not someone that does a lot of home cooking, you focus on convenience foods, fast foods, frozen meals, take the one step this week to be a chef. Make a home cooked meal. Buy the ingredients, find a recipe, and make a home-cooked meal. Set yourself up for the mini goal of having a solid meal at least one day this next week. Check out my website down below, jenswwjourney.com, for tons of WW-friendly recipes. Take one of those and make it and make the first step towards becoming that famous chef. Number two in building self-confidence is C- other people succeed. I love this so much. To be honest with you, when I see your successes, your loss on the scale, your non-scale victories, you building confidence in yourself on your journey, it is the biggest motivating factor for me. Not to mention I'm like a proud mom whenever you reach a goal, but it is a motivating factor for me as well because I see you succeeding, so I want to succeed as well. I want to be a role model for you when it comes to succeeding in weight loss. It is proven that watching others succeed in their goals makes us feel that we can succeed in our goals as well. If I see someone run a 5K, I think to myself, I can do that. I can run a 5K. I can get up the endurance to do just that because I saw someone else succeed. So use other people's successes as motivation, but be very careful not to fall into the comparison trap. Do not compare yourself to others, yet use their successes as motivation. Number three is feel more balanced. And this is what I needed this last week. Keep your emotions in check. Keep an eye on how you're feeling, whether it's happy, sad, stress. Know how you're feeling and keep those emotions the best that you possibly can into check. If you're worried or stressed, your brain will interpret that feeling as a lack of self-confidence. Relieving the stress and the tension and building more excitement towards our goals can make us feel a lot more determined and make us feel a lot more confident in actually being able to reach those goals. Try just taking a deep breath and recentering, refocusing, letting all the stress and emotion kind of go away and that that's a great first step to really getting amped up and excited again about the mini or long-term goal that you've set for yourself. Number four is get encouragement. This is so incredibly important. I actually get this question a lot. What do you do when you have someone or people in your life that try to sabotage your weight loss goals? Maybe unintentionally, maybe intentionally. What do you do? How do you not give in to peer pressure? This tip is so important. Surround yourself with people who 
will help you succeed. People who encourage you, people who stand by you, people who believe in you and your abilities. That's where this WW community and my Facebook group come into play. It is so important to be surrounded by people that are on the same journey as you or at least can connect with you in some way to be able to support you and for you to support them in return. My Facebook group is a wonderful, supportive, positive place to be. We do not have negativity there. We support each other. We love each other. We don't talk about other people in a negative way. We don't invite negativity into the group. We keep it supportive and positive. So we'd love to have you come over there. Surround yourself with people who will support you and build you up. That's also where coaching can come in, one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching. Having someone on your side, basically on speed dial that you can call or reach out to whenever you're feeling less than confident in your weight loss journey. That is one of the things I love about being a weight loss and nutrition coach is the fact that I'm your best friend. I'm your friend on speed dial. I'm the one that is there to help you when you're struggling. And I'm the one that's there to praise you when you're doing well. It's so important to have people on speed dial to help you. And I would love to be able to do that. My Facebook group would love to be able to help you. So take advantage of the positive supportive community that you have here in WW. So that's this week's topic about helping to boost your confidence. It is so true that the more confident we feel in what we're trying to achieve, the more likely we're going to be able to achieve those goals. So help boost your confidence. Again, surround yourself with people who love and inspire you and don't fall into that comparison trap. Use others as motivation. So again, my week was not the best week that I've ever had, but I want to share this with you because I think it is 100 million percent important. First of all, when I stepped on the scale today, I lost 0.4. Even though I was not on track, essentially five out of seven days, I still lost 0.4. I fully expected to step on the scale and have a gain. I fully did. And I was so disappointed, not mad, but disappointed in myself that I wasn't going to have a loss because my goal was to have a loss every week in the month of September. I felt like I was failing you guys because I told you that this was my goal for September. A lot of you followed suit and made that your goal as well. And I really felt like I was going to be failing you, but the scale was on my side and I still had a loss this week. But what I want to share with you that I think is so important and to help take away from this insane week and me still being able to lose weight is because I am eating at a caloric level that still produces a calorie deficit. Calories in versus calories out is the only way that you can lose weight. I am still in a calorie deficit. I am meeting my protein goal. Even those days that I overindulged, I still met my protein goal. I have maintained and built my metabolism to be stronger. I have built my body up so that it burns more calories than it used to. So I can eat a little more calories and still lose weight and still be in a calorie deficit. This is a prime example of what I've been talking about when it comes to making sure you're eating enough, that you're not starving your body, that you're not doing damage to your metabolism with long-term chronic dieting. This is exactly a prime example of how you can still eat a little bit more and still lose weight. So if you've been on the fence on whether or not you should up your calories, this is in a sense proof in the pudding that you can do just that and still be successful. Now I'm sure if I would not have overindulged five out of seven days, I'd have had a bigger loss on the scale, especially with my movement and my activity this week. And being really busy, I'm moving a lot more during the day. Maybe not exercise or activity, but non-activity. I'm still non-activity related I'm still burning more calories with the non-intentional activity that I'm doing every day with just being extra busy. So take this as kind of proof that you can up your calories and not panic and still be able to lose weight. So with that being said, this next week, I'm going to take what I learned from this last week with this stress and these emotions that I had last week, and I'm going to focus on my confidence, and I'm going to take this as a learning lesson to move into this next week and do a lot better. I'm already off to a better start today. I'm working out. I have my food pre-tracked, packed, and ready to go because I have a busy day today. I have to go to Costco. I have to show a property. So I set myself up for success. I have my lunch bag with all my food in it, and that is already leading me off to a more confident start to this next week. And I feel good that I shared the truth, the reality of how this last week went with me and how it all played out, because I think it's important to be completely honest and transparent on your journey, whether you're on YouTube or not, just with your friends and your family and yourself, most importantly, to be honest and open with yourself. So 
Let me know how your guys' week went. I always, always like to hear from you. And again, make sure you're checking out the description box down below for coaching, my Facebook group, links and discount codes to my favorite things. Surround yourself with a positive, supportive community. So check out my coaching and of course my Facebook group. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss a single video. So tomorrow is a grocery haul. It's a great one. I have a ton of new food finds and I have a vlog coming your way on Sunday. So lots of good videos to help keep you motivated, build your confidence, and support you on your journey. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for letting me vent and tell you about my week and for supporting and loving me no matter what. It really means a lot to me. Have a wonderful Friday and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye guys.